What's going on, my PT peeps, my Walking Dead family, and my fighters? I'm One Eyebrow, also known as PT. Don't know if I'm winking or blinking, but I'm definitely thinking about Fear the Walking Dead Season 6, Episode 10, my early access review, breakdown, discussion, all that stuff. So, obviously, spoiler warning for Fear the Walking Dead. If you haven't seen the episode yet and you don't want to know this information, stop watching. But overall, Season 6, Episode 10, Handle with Care, is a Daniel focused episode. And I personally like Daniel, so I enjoyed the episode. But first, before we get to it, guys, please hit the subscribe button, show them some love and support by subscribing today. It really helps us out. Now, like I said, Daniel Salazar, or played by Ruben, is really focused and highlighted this episode, which I'm okay with because I like the character. And it's got that whodunit feel, what's going on here, who built this jail cell, how much time has passed, Who's Daniel talking to? Well, basically, Daniel recruits all these people to talk here at Morgan's community. We still don't have a name for it. We still know that the threat out there is the end is the beginning people. Hopefully, we'll see that next episode. We get to see them. Did they cause the explosion in this episode? We don't know because it wasn't answered. It was a whodunit type of thing without the payoff. We don't know who it was. There was an explosion and we're still guessing. But like I said, so the SWAT truck arrives. They're running on fumes but Morgan could drive away. So they have enough gas to use it. We didn't see Wendell, but he was mentioned. We got to see Skidmark, which was great. We're gonna highlight that in a second, don't worry. But Strand, his ranger, Morgan, the people there, they're building up for the big interaction that's been building up now for several episodes. We still don't know, like I said before, the end is the beginning, people. We haven't seen them yet. And I really hope it's actually seen next episode with Althea and Alicia. Dakota was useful. Just shows me that she's going to be kept alive. They're not going to kill her off. So the people that want her to go, it's not going to happen. June's not going to take her out. June is actually the person that Daniel is talking to. June does a, a dementia, psychological, neurological exam. Daniel is listening to music. I wonder if he still has the Half Moon record in there. I would love to see another callback to The Walking Dead. But he's playing a song, well, a record by the Traveling Wilburys. I believe it's called Handle With Care, which is the name of the episode. And you can see there's a lot of red. Red tomatoes, red basket, red stuff, red there. Just It's really focused on here. So is Daniel in danger? Is Daniel losing his mind? As nobody died this episode, but you know how I feel about the red color or the color red in the Walking Dead universe. It's clearly right there. The red tomatoes, the red hose, the red rake, the red rag by Daniel. So will he die later this season? We see Skidmark and we're like, yes, in the cat carrier, which looks to be kind of small for him. But Wendell was mentioned. Skidmark was seen. The next we got to see the kids and then we're good, right? Well, not really because Skidmark was here and he was taken away to Daniel's living quarters. And then Daniel leaves at the end of the episode, and I didn't see Skidmark on the back of the horse. So what happened to Skidmark? He's just hanging out here, and I hope he makes it. But Strand asks about Alicia. She's gone with Althea. They're definitely going to be seen next episode, I would assume, or maybe in two episodes, that they're gonna highlight Althea and Alicia and Wes and Luciana are the people right there with the end is the beginning people. So that's hopefully coming up next episode, and I'm ready for it. Grace is having some Braxton Hicks contractions. And I don't know how much time has passed since Ginny was taken out, but it looks like a significant amount of time because they've done a lot of work. Why didn't they go to the stores and the locations and their other places to bring everything you could think of back to this community for Grace until the baby is born? Also, you're gonna need that stuff. Other babies will help it be born later on but they radio June, so you know June is still around, and Morgan's gonna go get the fetal monitor, so he's going to leave. That opens up all the craziness that happens with Daniel and the meeting and the attack at the community, and also Daniel and Strand and all the chaos here. Now, all the group is you know arguing about this and that, well, you said this and this, and why are you being so defensive? And you know, I have to say, Sherry is pretty annoying, and the reunion with her and Dwight is pretty lackluster. But again, there's an explosion right behind Daniel. Boom! The camera flips upside down. They walk over to where the explosion happened. And no one's really worried about it. They're like, yeah, we don't know who got that close. Or was it really the accident that Daniel was talking about? Because we don't know what actually happened, what Daniel actually thinks happened, and what was real. But either way, the walkers get into Morgan's community, Strand shoots a couple walkers, and Daniel used that as the way to fish out the person who stole the guns, even though it wasn't Strand. And what if Daniel actually shot Strand, right? He fires a shot and hits the wood, but what if he killed Strand? 
that would piss a lot of people off, right? I'm not the biggest Strand fan, but he has his fans. Look at that face, right? He's like, I'm going to shoot you, right? He just seems like a confused old man, like a Uncle Junior on The Sopranos. But Raleigh catches charlie going through his stuff and i still have my doubts about this guy i don't know if he's working with the end is the beginning people but like i said the walkers get into the community these walkers get stuck and morgan just shoots them all down with the swat truck and i guess althea is totally okay with other people using the swat truck before she was all about it and that's her baby now she doesn't care but strand is locked up daniel gets a radio message that they're looking for grace and Grace is not where she was supposed to be. And then you start to wonder like, what's going on here? Is Grace in danger? Is Grace gonna die? Remember, it's the who done it, keep you guessing type of episode. Well, Grace and Charlie went to a different place because that's where Daniel actually told them to go. They were actually put in danger. Then we find out that Daniel was the one that put all these guns away. How did people not see him just putting the guns away or taking the guns and him pushing all the guns around, right? But again, it's Fear of the Walking Dead, and that's what they do on this show and in this series. But overall, the writing is much better this season, I have to say. But it turns out that Daniel has PTSD and his psychological trauma, not neurological, because there's a big difference there, and that's a great thing, because his brain still works. He doesn't have dementia, he just has some stuff he's got to work through. But will that be the death of Daniel? Now, it reminded me of the three words from The Sopranos. There was definitely some connections here, but it's what they do for those cognitive tests. June coming back was cool because it was like, what is she going to do now? She's living on her own somewhere, I guess, but she talks to Morgan. Morgan is trying to figure out things, and you kind of feel bad for Daniel. At least I did, right? You feel bad because he's a confused old man that doesn't know he's a danger to himself and others, so he actually leaves the community. And then we have the group and the meeting breaking up, that you know, Sherry and her people are going wherever they're going, I guess back to the skate park, and Strand's gonna go back to Lawton. So we're gonna have to see what happens with these people. Again, we have so much cast left alive that we still have to thin the herd a little bit here. I mean, look at all these people. What are they really bringing to the show? Bigger step for Wes, bigger step for Luciana this episode, but we need more. And I have to say again, Sherry is annoying. Dwight's trying to be there for her. And she's like, yeah, and look, I already told you. But weren't you two married? Don't you love each other? What's the deal, Sherry? You wrote notes and you wrote all this stuff. And now she's like, yeah, I don't really want to be around you. Yeah, you don't really mean that much to me. It's like, what? Again, lack luster. Dakota steps up and talks about basically them being underground, probably in a bunker. So she's useful and she's going to be kept alive. Then everybody leaves and we don't really know what's going to happen here. And then you see Daniel just walk out with a horse. And I have to say, these walker bodies would be stankin'. Get rid of the bodies away from the walls of the entrance, right? But Daniel and Charlie have their nice moment and they're talking and it's kind of a nice moment to see Charlie and Daniel because Daniel sees Charlie probably like Ophelia. And Ophelia died a couple seasons ago, so it's kind of a nice thing. Morgan just being involved with everything, he's the lead of the show. But I kind of felt bad for Daniel over and over again because Ruben did a great job, right? And when he said, the last time I did this, I burned this place down or I put it on fire, I set it on fire. And he's talking about Mexico when his brain wasn't really working right and he kind of saw this. So it isn't out of left field to bring this around with Daniel for the second time. But as I'm looking at Daniel's stuff here, I'm like, okay, looking at the bags, where's the cat? Nope, don't see it there. Another shot, Strand comes around. And Daniel said he's going to go to the warehouse. But I'm just like, where's the cat? Anybody else worrying about the cat? And I'm trying to look at the different photos and the different scenes. And it's a nice moment where Strand steps up and he says, look, come back to Lawton. You'll be safe there. And it's most likely like, look, we need you for more story. Just come back with us. Even though Daniel should probably go out on his own. He's very capable. And he was living there by himself before the group got there. But Strand and Morgan's interaction here was telling. Because Morgan's like, look, what are you going to do with Daniel? I have a right to know. I want to know what's going on here. Well, he had the gun in your face. So both guys bring up great points and valid arguments. And I love Strand's like, what do you people think of me? If I say it, I'm going to do it. He is a man of action. This lady has no lines, or at least in this episode. I believe it's the same woman that was with Strand previously when Dakota was taken, but I could be wrong. But Strand's taking in Daniel, and it's nice. It's a nice gesture, but he says it's for Ophelia. 
Hi, why is it for Ophelia, not Daniel? And again, I was looking for this cat carrier. Where is it? Is Skidmark staying at Morgan's community? I hope he's gonna be all right. And I know a couple people that saw the episode talked to me online about Daniel and Charlie, and they think one of these people are gonna die. I don't think Charlie's gonna die because that's not what this show does but I could see Daniel dying later on this season to be another big death, especially with COVID filming and stuff. Like he could have been like, yeah, I'm done with this. I don't really want to be involved. So kill me off, even though he's an original character from season one. But Daniel goes back to Lawton with Strand and his Ranger. And what's going to be next for Daniel? Is Lawton going to fall? Will they be attacked? Can't wait to find out. Overall, it's kind of a slower episode, but it was kind of impactful. I was kind of wondering who was doing this, who was doing that. And I can't wait to find out about the end as the beginning people. Hopefully we'll see you in the next episode. Let me know your thoughts, post your comments below, stay safe. And as always, tell them Daryl.